Aikido, the martial art created by Rihei Ueshiba, is known the world over as a unique self-defense system with the higher aim of promoting peace and harmony among peoples everywhere. Enthusiasts in more than 100 countries practice this art known for its principle of non-competition. Despite the widespread popularity of Aido, the origin and nature of this art are not well understood among practitioners. This videotape will present clear evidence concerning the actual techniques practiced by the founder as he was developing the modern form of Aikido. Our search takes us back to Japan of the pre-World War II era. During this period, the founder operated his own private school known as the Kokan Dojo in the Shinjuku district of Tokyo. At this age of his career, Weishiba was in the process of modifying the complex techniques of Daito Ryu Aikijutsu he had learned from his teacher, Sokaku Takeda. Among Weishiba's students of the 1930s were many prominent people from religious, business, political, and military circles. It was connection with his teaching duties at the Army Toyama School that Weishiba compiled a small training manual entitled Budo in 1938. A photography crew provided by the Army visited Weishiba's dojo to capture his techniques on film. It is this booklet that provides the key to understanding the technical development of Aikido. Budo was prepared for Prince Kaya, a descent of the imperial family, who was a high-ranking army officer and also a student of Weishiba. Kaya Noga, as he was known, became the superintendent of the Toyama School, where Weishiba taught in 1942. Budo contains some 50 techniques that are notable for their similarity to the modern forms of Aikido. It is the only book containing complete technical sequences performed by Weishiba himself and as such is an invaluable technical reference. During the late 1930s, Murihei Weishiba was experimenting with the weapons techniques of various classical schools, particularly those of the Kashima Shinto Ryu. In fact, fully one-third of Budo's techniques deal with the use of arms, including the knife, sword, spear, and bayonet. Weishiba retired to the small village of Iwama in Ibaragi Prefecture in 1942 to devote himself to farming, meditation, and training. In 1946, following World War II, a local teenager named Morihiro Saito enrolled in the Weishiba Country Dojo. Due to his flexible work schedule with the Japanese National Railways, the talented young Saito was able to engage in long years of intensive training at the side of the founder. Saito Sensei now a ninth degree black belt holder, spent a total of 24 years as Weishiba's student. During this time, Saito Sensei and his family served the Weishibas in Iwama in their personal life. One of today's leading exponents of Aikido, Morihiro Sato has traveled extensively in Japan and abroad, teaching the complex technical system developed by Weishiba, which includes both empty-handed and weapons techniques. Saito Sensei attaches great importance to Budo as a technical resource and refers to it frequently during his teaching seminars. In 
Saito Sensei published a book titled Takemusu Aikido Special Edition, a companion of this videotape, which provides an in-depth analysis of Budo. In this remarkable program, Saito Sensei reads and demonstrates the 50 techniques of Budo. Please observe closely the photographs of the founder from Budo included as a reference. These are the authentic techniques of Aikido created by Morihei Ueshiba Osensei, as demonstrated by one of his foremost students. In this videotape, I would like to demonstrate the techniques of Budo. Through these demonstrations, I believe you will be able to understand the evolution of the founder's techniques. Moreover, I think you will be able to understand how important this book will be to the future study and development of Aikido. One, Kamae. Fill your body with ki and open your feet in a ropo position and face your opponent in an Aiki Hami Irimi stance. When assuming a stance, Remember that the situation changes according to the will of God, depending on the time, position, level of the land, and opponent's force at that time. There are several ways of moving your feet, including outward and inward body movements and turns. These should be taught in practice. Note, when practicing, assume either a left or right stance according to your opponent's position and distance between you and him. Make sure always to assume a ropo stance upon completing a technique. You are at a disadvantage if you stand before your opponent with your whole body facing to the front because you will be open to many attacks in this position. Two, Irimi. Okay. Grab your opponent's left wrist with your right hand. Stay. Put power into the fingertips of your left hand while thrusting your palm out diagonally upward to right. At the same time, step deeply and close to Uke's body with your left foot and face to the right. At this point, pay attention to your rear. Grab Uke's wrist with your right hand from below while twisting your left hand further to the right in order to escape from his right hand. The instant you escape, execute a strike to your opponent's head. Grab your opponent's collar from the rear with your left hand, or hold his back, while stepping in with your right foot. Push his neck downward with inside of your right elbow and throw him down. At this time, it is important that you put power into the fingertips of your right hand and extend your arms inward. Sayu no Hika. Uke, proceed as shown in photo 2. Shite, concentrate your mind on the fingertips of your left hand while thrusting it forward to the right in a semi-circular manner. At the same time, turn your palm upward while turning your body to the right in a large motion while pivoting on your left foot. Pay attention to your rear. After changing your body position, it is important that your feet are in a correct stance and that your posture is able. Okay. When Shite is finishing the technique, advance slightly forward in order to make it easy for him to move. Note. You should practice both sides, left and right, using an irimi or entering movement as well as tai no henko. Four, irimi tenka. Enter in irimi with your left foot and then turn your body. Showman. Five. Face your opponent as shown in photo one. Stay. Step forward with your right foot while striking your opponent's forehead with your right tegatana or hand blade and execute an atimi to his side with your left fist. Okay. 
Block your opponent's right tegatana with your right hand. Stay. Cut down your opponent's front elbow with your right tegatana, and then grab his wrist while controlling his right elbow with your left hand. Step forward diagonally to the right with your left foot, and bring his right arm down in front of your abdomen. Advance further forward while pinning him to the mat. This is called Dai Ipo. Then turn to your opponent's right and place his right arm between your knees and strike his head with your right Egatana. Note, you must initiate the attack using both hands and feet at the same time. When you pin your opponent down on the mat, you must place his arm perpendicular to his body. Six. When your opponent strikes with Shomenuchi, enter in Irimi while blocking his Tegatana with your right hand and pin him as described in technique number five. Seven. Stay. Read your opponent's Shomenuchi strike with your key. Uke. Bring your right Tegatana upward in a large motion while advancing one step with your right foot and strike his head. Stay. Enter an Irimi to your opponent's right while executing an Atemi to his side with your left fist. Strike down his Tegatana with your right Tegatana. Turn deeply to the rear of your opponent and push his chin strongly. Note. In an actual fighting situation, strike your opponent's face. Read your opponent's shomenuchi with your key. Uke. Strike your opponent's head with your right tegatana. Shite. Step forward with your left foot entering in idimi or turn your body as in tai no henga while striking down his right wrist with your left tegatana. Grab the back of his right hand with your left hand. Correct method of grabbing. Grab your opponent's wrist with your ring finger and little finger and press down the base of his ring finger with your thumb. As you draw your left leg back, put your right hand over his right hand and press down on his palm so that he is forced to clench his fist. Then twist him down to the left. Next, as shown in photo 20, take a reverse hand hold with your right hand. You must not let your opponent move his hands or legs. Strike your opponent's side and his head as shown in technique number 5. Uke. Block your opponent's tegatana with your right hand. Shite. Pivot in a large motion and with your right hand, cut down your opponent's hand, which he has used to block your attack. Slide down your palm to his right wrist and place your thumb under his wrist while taking his right wrist in a reverse hold. Then place his wrist in the center of your chest and with your left hand grab his forearm. Control his right arm as if bring power into your chest. Next, move backward in order to bring your opponent down and lower into a seated position at his right side while pinning his right arm with both of your arms. Attack as described in technique number 9. Okay. Block the attack as described number 9. Shite. After pivoting in a large motion, grab the fingertips of your opponent's right hand with your right hand, 
and twist it to the right and slightly up. Switch your hands and hold his palm with your left hand while striking his face with the right fist. Draw your left foot to the rear while controlling his right elbow with your right hand and move back further to bring him down. Next, lower into a seated position at the right side of your opponent and place your arms in a cross position while controlling your opponent with your right arm. Yokomen, eleven. Stay. Read the opponent's Yokomen strike with your key. Okay. Step forward with your right foot while striking your opponent's left temple with your right tegatana. Stay. Take a small step diagonally to the left with your left foot while sweeping his right hand with your left tegatana and strike his head with your right hand. Next, step in deeply in Idimi and cut down his right tegatana to the right with your right tegatana and at the same time, execute an atemi to his side with your left fist. Throw him with your right hand. Practice yokomen as described in the section on the essence of techniques. Stay. Draw out your opponent's yokomen or lateral strike with your key. Okay. Execute a yokomen strike as shown in technique number 11. Stay. Step slightly to the left and cut down your opponent's right tegatana with your left tegatana while striking his head on your right hand. Grab his right wrist with your left hand while also taking hold of it with your right hand. Raise his arm over your head while stepping diagonally forward to the right with your left foot. Then, pivoting on your left foot, turn about 180 degrees to the right to throw him in such a way that you block an opponent's attack from behind. Note. You must think of your opponent's right arm as a sword when executing the technique. Also, it is important that you control his right wrist with your thumb. attacks you with a yokomen strike, enter as described in technique number 11. Then grab his wrist from below with your right hand while pivoting on your left foot. Apply the Dai Ipo technique. Fourteen. Stay. Pivot as described in technique number 10 while applying the Dai Niho technique. Execute a large Edimika movement as described in technique number 11, and at the same time lower your opponent's right hand completely. Grab your opponent's wrist with your right hand and the upper part of his forearm with your left hand. Step in with your left foot while felling him in the same manner as if cutting an enemy down with a two-handed sword strike. Note. The correct way of applying pressure to your opponent's right forearm. Grab his forearm, putting power into your little finger and ring finger, and apply pressure strongly against wrist with the base of your index finger, or slightly to the side of the wrist against the bone. Ten. 
throwing practice. 16. Okay. Take a half step forward with your right foot and grab both of your opponent's wrist with your hands. Shake. Take a half step diagonally to the right with your right foot and then a full step diagonally forward to the right with your left foot. At the same time, grab his right wrist with your right hand. Put power to the fingertips of your left hand and raise up your opponent's right hand in the direction of his shoulder. Put power into the little finger and ring finger of your left hand and draw his right hand towards you. Grasp his wrist at the pulse point with your thumb in order to control his right hand completely. Raise his arm all the way up. Next, pivot on your left foot approximately 180 degrees and throw your opponent to the rear as if cutting down an opponent behind you. As soon as you complete the throw, pin his right hand with a reverse hold. 17. Okay. Exit the technique as described on the previous page. Stay. Pivot to the right on your left foot and throw your opponent in the manner described on the previous page. Aiki no Tanden, Aiki training. Aiki will be learned naturally as a product of training. I will explain the specifics orally. 18. When an opponent grabs your hand. 19. When an opponent grabs both your hands. 20. When an opponent attacks with a strike. 21. Yokomen training. Okay. Execute a Yokomenuchi strike to your right hand. Stay. Step diagonally forward with your left foot while deflecting your opponent's right hand with your left tegatana. Then strike his head with your right tegatana. Training against rear attacks. 22. Okay. Grab your opponent's rear collar with your right hand and pull it backward. Stay. The moment your opponent pulls your back collar, Pivot to the left on your right foot while stepping diagonally back and to his right. Then strike his head with your left hand and the pit of his stomach with your right hand in order to bring him down. Twenty-three. Okay. Proceed as described in technique number twenty-two. Stay. Draw your right foot diagonally back and to the right while striking your opponent's head with your left tegatana. Draw out other opponent's attack with your right hand. Okay. Deflect your opponent's left hand with your left hand. Stay. Take a large step backward with your left foot and bend your body fully forward while shifting diagonally to the rear and right of your opponent. Apply a lock on his right arm with your right arm while striking his back with your left hand to bring him down. Twenty-four. Okay. Grab your opponent's rear collar with your right hand and push him forward. Stay. The moment your opponent attempts to grab your rear collar, step forward with your right foot and, using it as a pivot, turn to the left while striking your opponent's head with your left pegatana to bring him down. Twenty-five. Okay. Proceed as described in the previous technique. Stay. The moment your opponent attempts to grab your rear collar, turn to your right onto your right foot while entering diagonally to the right rear of your opponent. Then strike down his right hand with your right tegatana. Next, step in with your right foot to his rear while striking his head with your right hand to bring him down.
26. Okay. Okay. Grab your opponent's two hands from behind with your hands. Stay. Step back with your left foot while raising up both your hands. Next, step backward with your right foot and at the same time lower both hands to throw your opponent forward. Twenty-seven. Stay. Lead your opponent's attack with your key. Okay. Execute a strike to your opponent's head. Stay. Immediately after your opponent moves to strike you, turn your body and enter deeply to his right side while striking his wrist with your left katana. Pay attention to your back. Execute an attempt to his head with your right fist and bring him down to your left as described in technique number eight. Grab the sword by placing your right little and ring fingers on the hilt. Next, move to the left, passing for his head, and pin him face downward. Take the sword away from your opponent with both hands and cut his neck. Twenty-eight. Stay. Proceed as in technique number 25. Okay. Execute a strike to your opponent's head. Stay. Enter in Edemi while striking his sight. Next, bring him down as described technique number 7. 29. Stay. Stand with your right foot forward and draw out your opponent's attack with your key as described above. Okay. Execute a strike to your opponent's head. Stay. Enter an EDM to your opponent's left while executing a strike to the pit of his stomach. Grab hilt of the sword and strike his head with your right tegatana. 30. Train your key while cultivating sharp eyes. Stay. Read the opponent's attack with your key. Okay. Strike your opponent's head from the jodan or upper position. Stay. The moment your opponent comes to strike you, turn either to the right or left. You must practice until you become able to move calmly when exposed to the danger of dying by the sword. Explanation. There is an opening at the moment your opponent comes to strike you. I find out the enemy's opening with the same spear as if I were drawing a sword. A piece of iron is merely a physical thing but still has weaknesses. However it becomes steel or a sword through the refining process. The swordsmith Masamune's fine flawless blades were the product of countless hours of practice. The same concept applies to your training. Practice without creating any openings for your opponent. If he cuts you, make sure to cut him. And if he thrusts you, thrust him. If you cultivate this spirit, you will become a true martial artist. Yokomen Do. 31. Kuden Oral Teaching. Hunking. 32. The moment your opponent thrusts you with a knife, or threatens you with a gun, Apply technique number seven. Thirty-three. Apply technique number eight. Stab at your opponent's head with a knife. Stay. The moment your opponent comes to stab you, enter any demi and grab his right forearm from below with your right hand and apply I Evo. Quick. 
Okay. Third five. Stay. Try out his kote or wrist with your ki. Okay. Strike your opponent's wrist. Stay. Move your body to the left and cut his wrist. Thirty-six. Stay. Read your opponent's right hand with your key. Okay. Strike head with your sword. Stay. Move your body and edge to the right while striking his head. Thirty-seven. Stay. Read your opponent's attack to your head with your key. Okay. Strike your opponent's head. Stay. Trini Dimi while striking his head. I will explain the theory of cutting opponent while avoiding being cut by his sword. Ski, 38. Stay, proceed as described above. Okay, execute a strike to your opponent's head. Stay, enter an Idimi and thrust your opponent's chest with your sword with the blade upward. Then immediately strike his head and execute a second thrust. Nine. Stay. Assume a right Idimi stance with an Aiki posture and lead your opponent's attack. Okay. Execute a Chokuzuki or direct thrust. Stay. Enter an Idimi and strike down his left forearm with your right katana. Next, grab his rear collar with your right hand and strike his head with your left katana. Okay, proceed as described above. Stay. As described above, after attacking your opponent, grab his juken or bayonet with both hands and step in with your right foot to throw him. Forty-one. Okay, proceed as described above. Stay. After entering Nidimi as described in technique number 37, grab his bayonet from below with your left hand and draw your left foot back while applying an elbow lock with your right forearm. 42. Stay. Assume a left Nidimi stance with an Aiki posture to face your opponent. Okay, proceed as described above. Stay. Enter in Idimi and strike your opponent's head with your left tegatana while striking his left forearm with your right tegatana. Then grab his bayonet with both hands and step in with your right foot to bring him down. 43. You and your opponent face each other holding bayonets. Stay. Read your opponent's attack with your key. Okay. Proceed as described above. Stay. The moment your opponent comes to thrust you, turn and enter an enemy to the left and thrust your opponent. The attack against a spear is almost identical to that used in the bayonet. 44. Practice as described or throwing practice. Okay. Grab both your opponent's hands with your hands. Stay. Put power into the fingertips of both hands as you would for a throwing practice. Step diagonally forward and to the right with your left foot while raising both hands all the way up. Then, turn to the right while pivoting on your left foot and lower both your hands to support Uke's body. Then move back to the opposite side to return to the original position and repeat. 45. Both you and your opponent sit opposite each other in Seiza. Okay. Grab both your opponent's hands with your hands. Stay. Turn your palms inward putting power into your fingertips. 
concentrate your mind and push your opponent as if swinging at a sword, thus raising both his forearms. Advance forward with your right knee to assume a handachi position and bring your opponent down to your left. After downing your opponent, open both palms slightly to the sides. Then push your right hand towards Uke's left shoulder and your left hand down and forward to your left. You must not draw your hands towards you. Forty-six. Uke, proceed as described above. Shite, proceed in almost the same manner as the previous technique, but turn both palms outward, extending them diagonally forward to the left in order to bring down your opponent. Forty-seven. Uke, proceed as described above. Shite, raise your right hand while twisting it towards Uke's left shoulder and raise your left hand to the inside. Push your opponent forward and down to the left to bring him down. 48. Uke, okay. proceed as described above. Shite, bring the opponent down to the right or left as if scooping something up with both hands. 49. I will teach this orally. Se no undo. 50. Shite. Grab Uke's hands with your hands. Uke. Extend your right hand diagonally forward and to the left. Turn your body so that your back faces Uke's and lift him onto your back. Shite. Let go of Uke's hands as he slides down your back slowly. 50. This is really a wonderful book. These techniques represent the founder's art as 1938 before World War II. It is said that Aikido was perfected after the war, and I think that is certainly the case, because there's a great difference between these and the techniques of the founder in his later years. Why did the founder make changes to the techniques of Budo later in his life? If we compare the differences in techniques, I think the Founder's reasons will become clear. I can't go into the subject now, but if I have an opportunity in the future, I would like to clearly show the pre-war techniques of Budo and compare them with his later techniques to explain why it was the Founder made these various changes. I hope I will have such an opportunity.